England take on Croatia in a behind-closed-doors Nations League clash in Rijeka on Friday night. The hosts saw off the three Lions in a 2-1 extra-time win in their World Cup semi-final meeting during the summer. Here, Press Association Sport takes a closer look at the World Cup runners-up. Form after beating Gareth Southgate's side in Moscow, Croatia went on to lose the final 4-2 to France. Ivan Perisic scored to level a Mario Mandzukic own goal before France took control as an Antoine Griezmann goal was added to by Paul Pogba and Kylian Mbappe. Mandzukic grabbed a consolation at the right end but it was not enough for Croatia, who had to settle for second place. Next up was a friendly against Portugal, with the sides sharing a 1-1 draw in Faro, Perisic putting the visitors ahead only to see Pepe equalize for the Euro 2016 winners. The Nations League began in lamentable style for Croatia as they were thrashed 6-0 by Spain. After Spain had beaten England 2-1 at Wembley, Luis Enrique's side thumped their other Nations League opponents as Sol Niguez, Marco Asensio, Rodrigo, Sergio Ramos and Isco all got on the score sheet. Croatia goalkeeper Lavra Kalinic also scored an unfortunate own goal as his country suffered the heaviest defeat in their history. Coach Salatko Delic had a fairly humble playing career, the defensive midfielder's best days arguably coming during his time at Verazden. The 51-year-old then went into management, coaching in Croatia before a short stint in Albania saw him lift the Super Cup. A return to Croatia followed but he was soon on the move again, coaching Al Fazali and Al Halal in Saudi Arabia and replacing Kike Sanchez Flores as manager of United Arab Emirates outfit Al Ain. He was appointed Croatia coach in October 2017 and said he would only remain in the job if he led the country to the World Cup finals. He did that by securing a place in the playoffs before seeing off Greece and would then steer Croatia to their first ever major final. He has won half of his 16 games in charge. Tactics having deployed a 4-1-4-1 formation for much of the World Cup, Dalek has been trialing 4-2-3-1 of late. Plenty of the creativity within the side stems from the midfield pairing of World Cup Golden Ball and FIFA Men's Player of the Year Luka Modric and his partner Ivan Rakitic. Perisic is another bright spark, while Chelsea Loni Mateo Kovacic offers a further creative option for Dalek. Croatia are yet to replace the goals of Mandzukic, who retired after the World Cup, with Marko Lavaja and Ivan Santini unable to grasp their opportunities in the two matches that followed. Players there is no doubt that Modric is the jewel in the crown of Croatian football, the 33-year-old Real Madrid ace wrestling the title of best player in the world away from the recent monopoly of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. The former Tottenham man still has plenty to offer, as do the likes of Rakitic and Perisic. Dejan Lovren of Liverpool joins Kovacic as the only Premier League representatives in the current squad, while Rangers defender Borna Barisic is also included. Do you want to write for Give Sport? Get started today by signing up and submitting an article here, https colon slash slash www.givemesport.com slash writeforms.